Patience, a fruit of the spirit. Patience and the need for it affects many aspects of our lives. Patience with others, patience with ourselves, patience in situations, patience in trials and sorrows, patience with God. But let us never forget that God's patience with us is one of our greatest blessings. The call for patience can imply that there is a reason for us to be patient. So we could make our first prayer of the day to ask God to bless us with patience. Since most days of our lives will call for some kind of patience, even something as ordinary as a long supermarket queue. Love is patient, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4. Here we see patience as a product of love, love from God, which enables us to be patient. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, Romans 12, 12. Patience then is not a lonely fruit of the spirit, and we see it here befriended on either side by joy and prayerfulness. Patience is not a passive putting up with things, but an active, steadfast endurance. Patience, as a fruit of the Spirit, is purposeful. As believers, when we go through any kind of trials and tribulations, if we choose to be patient, we will naturally draw towards God through prayer. Patience means that we are going to wait and rely on God's timing so that we can focus directly on him and learn to fully trust in him alone. Patience may not necessarily get easier, but through the practice of it, our relationship with God will certainly grow stronger. By practicing patience through the power of the Holy Spirit, we learn to follow his example of patience towards us and reflect that patience towards others. Those who rejoice in hope at all times are more likely to be patient during tribulation. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Here again, patience is accompanied and supported, this time by humility and gentleness. And how much more powerful patience is and its dreadful opposite impatience, never likely to win any battle. But it's hard to be patient if we are restless and stressful in our hearts. We pray for that unique peace, which has nothing to do with our feelings and emotions, has immense power in our lives, and which gives birth to real patience. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Romans 8, 25. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Psalm 37, verse 7. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promises, as we understand slowness. Paul wrote, bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. 2 Peter 3, 15. The Lord is patient with us, something to be incredibly grateful for. He is also the source of every other fruit of the Spirit in our lives. And his patience comes from the fact that he loves us so much that he is prepared to wait, encourage and guide until we come to repentance and learn to wait patiently on him. Some of us have families in which there are those yet to believe the gospel. And although it is our dearest longing that they too come to our Lord for life, we need this special patience in our nurture of them. We need to pray for it daily, sometimes even moment by moment, as we follow God's leading in words and actions. In this age of instant gratification, disappointment time after time is upsetting and unsettling. But it is this God-given patience which comes to our aid and enables us to see his hand in every aspect of our lives. Preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. 2 Timothy 4, 2. Paul wrote, So as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, 
humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3, 12. Patience is just one part of the heart we put on as Christians. We need to choose to put it on as a deliberate and willful attitude. And our Lord shows us in a nutshell how we can do this. And it's probably nothing you haven't heard before. We go to God's word, meditate upon it, pray through it, prayer being our vital and wonderful resource, and apply it to our lives. As a result, God's word will perform its work in us, and we will find the strength to be patient, whatever our circumstances. Being strengthened with all power, according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Colossians 1 verse 11. Amen.